the list is finally, finally getting smaller. We don't have very much to do until we're complete. But she's still a part in the front end. I got a few things left to button up. Uh, I got the radiator in. I scored a set of twin fans from the junkyard. I have no idea what they came off of, but I should keep it cooler than usual. Uh, running double air filters instead of the scoop. Maybe get a little bit more breathing air. Maybe she'll run a little bit better. Uh, Logan made us some heat shields for the exhaust. Try to keep everything from melting. And I've been working on a panel for the start button. And I installed a air fuel gauge. And I have an oil pressure gauge and I also have a boost gauge now and those things we didn't have before. So those are all new. Now I'm working on mounting the, the RPM controller somewhere around there. I don't know. That's what I'm doing right now. A little bit of electric, electrical work. I still have to top off the rear end. Jeez. We're gonna change the gear ratio. We had 522s in it, and then we're gonna to go to, I believe, 356s and get that wheel speed. And so I gotta fill up the train, fill up the tranny full of oil. We gotta fill up the rear end full of oil. And I guess I need a shifter too. There's no shifter, so I gotta get a shift handle for that four speed. And one last thing that we installed that's new this time around is I got a switch on the steering and that is a line lock. So that's something new too. So hopefully I can set the line lock and start in fourth gear. That's my plan. Start in high gear. But we'll see how that goes. I'm, we're going to go testing here in a couple days. We're having a burnout event in Maine, so I'll get some footage, footage of that, and I'll put together a quick video, and uh, by the time you guys will see this, we'll know how it goes, and we'll do a recap. <laughs>